In the exhibition matchup today, benefiting the McClendon Foundation here in Knoxville. But I mean, Big Ten versus SEC. These are the kind of matchups we need to see more in college basketball. You do. You do. And there's no reason why these two brands should never have played up until today at each other's venues. You know, this should be a once every five year thing, man, where Tennessee goes up to Bloomington and plays in that historic building and have Indiana come back down and return the favor. Luke Goody with the inbounds pass, trying to get a pass to Akpara. That's tough to do. He'll find Bala. Miles Rice leading the way with 16 points. Beating Bala. Tennessee with Dupar, tight defense. Giving it back for the balls. Great defense by Keystone. Now the team we really we are rooting for is Tennessee the Volunteers. Being on the bench, so who's going to run that backup point guard role? Will it be someone like a, a Bishop Boswell or a Ganey or a Chaz Lanier? Great interior pass there. Dubar called for the foul for Tennessee, picking up his second foul. Kenny Carlisle, another three-point threat for the Hoosiers back in the game. Placing the hometown product, Anthony Leal. Tennessee will also bring back in Igor Milicic Jr. Transferred from Charlotte, also had time in his career at Virginia. Native of Croatia, playing for the Volunteers. IU trying to break a two and a half minute scoring drop. Renew Will, the free throw line. Knocking down the front end of a one and one. I oh, believe yeah, Renew has really had a good game. You know, he shot the ball well, played over 24 minutes today, four of six, got to the free throw line, eight rebounds. Really, really skilled player. Somebody like that, you know, Coach Woodson's going to count on. We want to thank you all for making a great last weekend of October. Since we're coming to the final week of October, starting starting, starting tomorrow until October 31st. The 31st is... Opportunity for Indiana. Last led at 16-14 in the first half. Got it back. Carlisle. Wow. Picking up the pace there and taking it to Tennessee right now. Giving some of Tennessee's medicine right back to him with the steal. Great pass here. You know, you're, you're oftentimes you're taught not to jump with the exception of just shooting the basketball, but he's bailed out. Found Renew on the perimeter and a great knockdown three. And if he's scoring from the perimeter, that opens so much up for this offense. It really does. It's Kai Ziegler back in the game for the Volunteers. Indiana on a 7 0 run right here. Tennessee is really scuffling again, trying to put the ball in the basket.
Bulls have missed their last four shots from the floor. A scoring drought of over three minutes for Tennessee. Carlisle now feeling great. Stick in there on this defensive possession. Milicic to the paint. Floats it up. Won't go, but Akpara with the rebound. That's what Akpara's going to get you. But that's a shot clock violation. Akpara's got to be confident of the fact that if you grab the rebound, that was an air ball, you got to be able to put it up. Tight defense by the Hoosiers holding the Volunteers off the scoreboard. Nearly a turnover. Hoosiers in the midst of a 7-0 run. Their fans that have made the trip from Indiana down to Knoxville making some noise. They're on Tennessee's home floor. Yeah, great amount of red in this building. I, I never dreamed that there would be this amount of red in the building, but they have traveled well. Follow with the orange paints to Goody. Comes Tennessee. It's a good pass by Ballo. Goody's got to be able to knock down that jumper. If you were Tennessee, Roger, go back to last year. You had the Superman who put on the cape, Dalton Connect. All those spells get the ball into his hands. Who is that guy this year for Tennessee? How about Zakai Ziegler? Off the mark from three, and the Hoosiers will have it back. Yeah. Again, Indiana playing great, great defense, forcing another errant shot by Tennessee. Not just the missed shots, but the turnovers as well on Tennessee. Three in the last four minutes. Goody trying to get it in, wisely calls a timeout. Mike Woodson was on top of it as well from the Indiana bench. But the Hoosiers in their best stretch of this ballgame, a 7-0 run to take the lead over these last two minutes. We have 427 still to go in Knoxville. Hoosiers by three. We'll be right back.